Hello, and welcome to another Excel tip on charts. So I wanted to start with uh, the sheet that we used for um, tip number nine. So if you want to see how this, how this um, chart was generated, you can go back and watch tip number nine. So here what we have is a scatter plot of median household income versus crime rate. So we have crime rate on the x-axis and median household income on the y. So the first thing I want to show you, we're going to do bubble charts today, but I want to show you the difference or, or how to really dig down into the details of this chart. And if we right click in the chart area and go to select data, this is a really important dialog box. So right click and go to select data. This gives us lots of different things that we can do. So um, it gives us more manual control rather than using sort of the Excel generic stuff. So the first thing I want to show you is that we can switch the row and the column. So in this case, it doesn't really do too much um, for us because the row and the columns, it's a, it's a scatter plot, so it's, it's very messy. Um, but in some cases, that may be something that you want to do. Now, what if we wanted to instead, instead of doing crime rate on the x-axis and median household income on the y-axis, what if we wanted to flip those two axes? Well, let's go ahead to our, our data series and go to edit. So this you can sort of see is where it's getting um, the names of everything. So there's a series name, which isn't really um, that important, but that's right now it's called median household income. And here's where the importance is. So the x values and the y values. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip them. So I guess we have to put in, we want to make these C, so we could type it, we can type them in like this. Or if let's say I want to choose this one now, I want these to be the D, I can, I can click this and then just um, select on the chart what I want. That's sort of underneath there. Oh, so I have to delete first. So here we go. So now we're, we're, we're in business. So now it's the same exact chart that I had. The, the axis titles are, um, are messed up because of it. But you can see that now the median income's on the bottom and the crime rate's on there. So select data is a pretty important tool to be able to do that. And I'm, I could also, in the select data dialog, I could add more data, data entries. So maybe I wanted to add um, sort of, you know, some more data entries in there. I could do that from, from this dialog. So it's a very important dialog box to um, keep in mind. So I'm going to undo some of those things so we get back to our normal chart. And now I want to show you bubble charts. So bubble charts are really good for showing, and, and we saw that, and you can see this also with uh, gapminder.org uses some great bubble charts. So now we want to sort of make these in Excel. And in, in this one, we're, now we're displaying the data with crime rate and median household income. Maybe we want to get an idea of the population of each of these dots, too. So what we can do is we're going to go ahead and go to um, our format of our chart or our design, and we're going to change the chart type. And we're going to change it to a bubble chart. So bubble is um, under scatter and then bubble. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one. And so right now, the bubbles seem to be all the same size. So there's a problem. So again, we, what we need to do is Excel automatically doesn't do a lot of things for us. So we're going to right click here and manually go into select data. And then when we go to, when we um, edit this series, we can see now there's the bubble size. And all the bubbles are size 1 right now, which is not what we want. So let's get rid of that. And then the bubble size, what we want is the population. And so if we hit enter, we see the chart changes right away. And we know if we look at the data, our biggest bubble is um, New York City. And so that's where New York City sits, and then of some of our other bubbles. So now we have more data in this chart than we had before. We, had, we have the population, the crime rate, and the median household income. So we can see more patterns this way. And again, we sort of see that same sort of idea that as um, population you know, 
as population decreases, the crime rate goes up in our in our data set. Again, it might not be a, a complete data set because we have some, some interesting um, cities in here, but that's what our data shows right now. All right, great. Thank you for watching.